This morning, I would like to discuss the concept of becoming crystalline in nature as individuals and then modeling this to our collective human family through our energetic expression as a spiritual community at large. We know that we are amidst a deep darkness here on planet Earth. Anybody going to argue with that? No? No? Okay. <laughs> uh, fear and separation, they're doing their thing. We're very aware of this. We could get lost in talking about that. We know what the problems are. What are the solutions? For those of us who have been on this awakening journey here for a while, we feel a call to go deeper. Deeper than we've ever gone before. Are you feeling that call? Mm -hmm. I'm feeling that call. We're feeling that call. Whether you are here with us physically today, virtually on screen, or energetically tapping in with us as the body of humanity at large, thank you for responding to the call. Thank you. There are so many beings within the fabric of our human family who are suffering so hard. They're locked in that box. They can't see any way out. And it hurts me. Does it hurt you? It hurts bad. We've all come together to answer this call. As we journey deeper into our being, we confront these wounds. We confront the trauma. We confront our demons, the things that are coming out of us and saying, you can never get out of this box. You're stuck here. We love ourselves and co-parent. We reparent ourselves. We love our inner child. We forgive those who have hurt us. Sometimes it feels impossible to forgive those that have hurt us, but when we do that, we feel free inside. And through this healing journey that happens with our spiritual awakening, part one, two, three, four, there's not just one, sorry. It's gonna happen again and again and again. And also thank you. We're doing that again and again. <laughs> we become true beacons of light through this process of purification. We have this experience over and over and we become stronger and stronger. Would you agree that most of the pain the people in the world around us are feeling is directly related to forgetting that they are connected to the source of creation? Receiving what we need in the form of love and connection brings hope a new perspective, and it allows us as a collective to envision the birth of a new earth together. So, what will it take for us to get there? To take it home, to create a contagious light activation on this planet, to create a real event. What's it gonna take for us to become crystalline is what I think, crystalline in nature. It's not a passive endeavor, it's an active conscious choice to align with the highest frequencies of light and truth again and again and again. Coming back into that place of attunement. When we make that conscious choice, it spreads. Others feel it. And they want some of what we got there. When we attain crystalline nature, we become steadfast anchors for the light. We become a place where it can sink in. We hold it down, no matter what's going on. Think about a diamond. How's a diamond formed? All this dark energy is pushing down on it again and again. It just becomes more and more and more brilliant and bright and full of light reflecting. Be like a diamond. That's what we're being called to be collectively. Do your inner work so you can shine, shine, shine. And we can make a crystal grid around this planet to activate the new earth. Our mission ahead of us is clear. Do you agree? We must arise as warriors of light. This is not the same kind of war that's raging around us. This is a war of peace. It's not even right to call it a war, but what else can we say? We're here to create the new earth together. We each have a unique role to play in this great awakening. And if you think that you can sit this out, and we won't get there without your help. You're wrong, my loves. Every one of us matters. Every one of you needs to bring your light to the party for us to activate this crystal grid of light 
that allows others to become free, to smash the box, to get out of it, and to move into the new earth blueprint. A message to all who are awakening today. I speak to you with all of the love in my being. As I say, keep coming, blessed one. Keep coming. You are seen. You are seen by the source of creation. You are enveloped in divine love and light. You are not alone. The whole entire universe welcomes you with open arms back to the vibrational home of love where you belong. If you ever feel lost in the depths of uncertainty, know that you are found on this day. You are welcomed back. No matter how far you have gone from the light, you are welcome back. Come back to your human family. Come back to the light with us. Waters of love flow abundantly to you. They offer solace and renewal to your weary soul. Remember this truth. Inside of you, deep inside of you, is incredible courage, courage that is needed to heal yourself and others. And you've got this. You've super got this. Keep coming. Keep coming. This is our moment. This is our mission. Together we are rising. Together we are transforming. And together we are creating the new earth. Mm -hmm. Namaste. Mm -hmm.